So some of you may remember when I visited Shining 3D in Hangzhou, China last year, I got sent after my visit this extremely cool metal 3D print printed on an SLM metal 3D printer in stainless steel. And I said, this is the coolest 3D print I currently own. Well, today I'm gonna to show you some other 3D prints that might just dethrone this. Let's get started. So to paint the picture, Arthur got in touch with me last year about his Kickstarter campaign, the Sapphire SLA and laser engraving system. And the machine looked quite cool at the time. As we all remember, there was lots of Kickstarter campaigns and unfortunately it didn't get funded. Well, towards the end of last year, he got back in touch and said, hey Angus, I'd like to send you some 3D prints off our system anyway, just to see what you think of them. No obligations or anything like that. So I thought, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I, you know, how about we print the, the torture lattice cube that I designed last year that everyone's been printing to test their machines. And if you haven't seen that, well, it's basically a design of a cube lattice at such a steep angle that it seemed almost impossible to 3D print, but for some reason on well-tuned machines, it prints pretty well. But I'm talking about FDM 3D printers, that's what I designed it for. But what Arthur wanted to do was to take this lattice cube and print it on his SLA system. So at the time I was moving studios, so I asked him to send it to my parents' address as I wanted to make sure it would actually arrive somewhere where people were living that I could actually get it from. And I got a call from my mum who said, hey, yes, there's this package that showed up. It's really light. I'm not sure what's in it. What is this? And I'm like, I have no idea. I had completely forgotten. So I said, look, crack it open and let me know what's inside. Well, basically over the phone, my mum lost it. And after picking up the prints, I can see why. So this is the first lattice cube that Arthur included in the box. So looking at his system, the Sapphire laser system, it's a Galvo based top down engraving or SLA system. And he has two different baths. So a very small bath for small detail parts. We'll get to that in a minute. And a larger bath with a wiper that looks very similar to the larger industrial SLA systems I saw in Shining 3D in Hangzhou. So this is a fairly average size, maybe a little bit smaller than normal lattice cube. It's an incredible result though. Looking at the detail, it's in a black UV cured resin and you cannot see any imperfections at all. It's something else. It looks phenomenal. And if you look really carefully in some details, you can see the layers, but you'd have to be trying pretty hard. And I would say he's printed this at maybe 50 microns. So that's an impressive result. But there's a reason my mum lost it over this package. Let's go to the other prints he included. This is the other lattice cube that he included. And yeah, I am not kidding when I say this is one of the smallest 3D prints I have ever seen in my life. So this little thing must have been done on the smaller bath for fine detail parts. It's ridiculous. I feel like I'm gonna break it just by looking at it. It's printed in a translucent green resin and it's nuts. There is zero chance in the world you could ever print this on an FDM 3D printer. It has to be resin and you would have to have a very good resin system at that to print this, which is incredible. And it's one of the smallest prints I've ever seen and definitely one of the smallest prints I have ever owned. So massive thanks to Arthur. But it gets even more crazy than this, guys. Wait till you see this. This is not a Photoshop. This is real. This is a revolved torture lattice cube that I designed last year, that I sent to Arthur, printed at a minute scale. It is absolutely tiny and there is no failure at all in it. It is printed exactly as you'd expect on a larger torture cube, but at a fraction of the size. And this blows me away. I had, have no, I had no idea this is even possible on a 3D printer at all. I don't care what system, I don't care what technology, I had no idea this was possible. So, massive thanks to Arthur at Sapphire Laser for sending me these prints, especially the tiny one. Just, just to go, just to backtrack, that's the, the larger one, which is already smaller than the file was meant to be originally designed for, and that's the tiny one. Like, look, that's, it's, it's, I don't wanna breathe on it, I'll blow it away somewhere. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed seeing these ridiculous 3D prints, and again, massive thanks to Arthur for sending them to me. Um, I wish him, wish him best of luck. You can buy his system right now with a pre-order, 
and it does take a while to deliver, but he is doing them um, in a batch, I believe, or even system by system. But if he wants to go back on Kickstarter, I would definitely recommend checking out his system if you want to do this kind of thing, because as I said, I didn't even know it was possible. If you enjoyed this video here on Makers News, guys, and want to see future 3D printing tips, tricks, and reviews, and other cool stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, it helps us out a huge amount. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Happy printing, guys. Bye.